Welcome to the April Roundup from Scott Dunn. April saw many people take advantage of the vacation periods around the world. So for those of you who celebrated Easter and the various public holidays, but there was also spring break in the United States. So it was a very busy month for Scott Dunn with lots of our guests traveling to all sorts of destinations around the world. In People News, as we have become part of the Flight Centre Travel Group, we were delighted to be able to launch a new benefit for our team at Scott Dunn, which is the ability to participate in Flight Centre's employee share plan. And that is a great perk for the team now we're part of the bigger group. In UK news, uh, with the advantage of the long weekends around Easter and also the school holidays, we had departures going everywhere from Australia to Zimbabwe. It was the last hurrah of the ski season as well, and over that Easter week, we saw 80 different sets of guests head off and enjoy the last minute fabulous snow in the Alps. As we closed down our Explorers Clubs in the Alps, we then opened in Cyprus, so summer has already begun over in Cyprus. The weather in April was fairly standard for the UK, so a little bit hit and miss, but those rainy showers definitely stimulated people to get excited about booking summer holidays to warmer climes, and we saw great demand for Greece, Italy and Portugal to head away this summer. As people returned, having had a wonderful ski season, they've already started to book for next year. So again, if you want to get those peak weeks around school holidays, please do book early and we're looking forward to taking your calls. The lure of the mountains is not just for those ski bunnies, but also we're seeing great interest in Patagonia and thankfully Peru, which has bounced back after many, many challenging months. And our other favorite, India, is finally picking back up again after that also took time to recover post-pandemic. Our team have also been getting out and about exploring some wonderful places around the world to make sure they are truly in the know, in the detail and inspiring when they chat to you, our future guests, about your trips. They've headed everywhere from Italy to South Africa and all the way through the Far East. And in a bit of a public service announcement this month, for those of you who are due to travel soon and you're traveling on one of the old British Burgundy passports, post Brexit, you need to keep an eye on your issue date. As for most of the EU, along with the Schengen countries, you need to have 10 years, no more than that, um, on your passport in, from issue date. So please do dust that passport off, take a look if you're traveling this summer, and if you need to get it renewed, make that happen. Hello from Scott Dunn, USA. April has been terrific and spring is in the air. A lot of our guests enjoyed some spring travel, whether they were traveling with friends, with families, or on their own. We saw our guests leaving over spring break to go to Costa Rica, Kenya, Ecuador and the Galapagos, Portugal, and Spain. Europe is still a top destination for us this summer and it is filling up fast. We're seeing some of our guests decide to go further afield. And we have guests traveling to Morocco, Southeast Asia, Australia, and New Zealand. We're also finding that wildlife and outdoors seems to be a common trend. There's a lot of interest in the wild tigers in India. We've had some interest in the jaguars in Brazil, and the Galapagos tends to still be a top destination to go and see that wonderful wildlife that it has to offer. We have some of our team in the field at the moment, as we like to go experience the best experiences that we can offer to our guests. We love to spend time with our partners on the ground to ensure that we are still offering best in class. We have two of our team members in Southeast Asia. We have two in Kenya, two in France, two in South Africa, and another one is in Ecuador and the Galapagos. We have some of our other team who just got back from Costa Rica and Australia. We like to go in the field to make sure that we are still doing the best for our guests and offering the best service possible. We have some other really exciting news. As you would have seen, we were acquired from the Flight Center Travel Group. We've been spending more time with them and just hosted their executive team in San Diego and had a luxury summit. We had wonderful strategic meetings and a lot of fun and look forward to our future and strategy together. We have other exciting news that we are gonna be opening an office in New York City this coming August. We are very excited to open in that part of the world so we can be closer to our guests and our friends on the ground. More to come. Hi everyone, Japan continues to be the destination of choice for our Singaporean based guests this April uh, with those first two weeks over the Easter long weekend being the most popular, uh, of course, for the cherry blossom and Sakura season. For those who didn't make it to Japan this year, we saw a sharp uptick in demand for North Africa uh, and the Middle East, in particular Morocco, uh, but also Egypt and uh, Oman uh, as key destinations where guests want to get to over spring. Aside from 
uh, a busy departure month this month, we're starting to see guests look uh, ahead to the June school holidays, uh, and in particular uh, travelling to Europe, uh, with Greece, France and Italy leading the way uh, for demand over those, uh, those dates, uh, and festive and Chinese New Year continue to be a popular time, uh, particularly uh, for those looking to get to Africa and South Africa, uh, is driving the majority of that interest. So we're still seeing a very busy uh, inquiry period uh, for those dates. Aside from bookings and, and departures, uh, we hosted our second OCBC event um, where they invited a, um, a group of doctors uh, to join us for an evening of travel, uh, wine, um, and of course, uh, good company. And uh, the team did a fantastic job uh, on taking that group through uh, the trends that we're seeing for the year ahead uh, and also what to book and when. And finally, uh, one of my uh, travel consultants, Geraldine Yap, uh, did a fantastic piece uh, in the Travel Wonderlust um, magazine on the trends we're seeing for our female guests and female travellers for the year ahead. Uh, so if that's of interest, please check it out. And that's it from Scott Dunn for the month of April. We'll look forward to seeing what happens in May with lots of bank holidays and a King's coronation to come.